Hello, my name is Aziz Lorena. Welcome back to another Mindful Motherhood Monday. And if you're new around here, welcome. Mindful Motherhood is a space for all parents to come and have a chat about parenting, talk about what's on our minds, discuss deep parenting issues and things that we think about every day, and also a space to be present in the moment with yourself as a parent. In this series, I talk about things like positive parenting, uh, breaking down certain concepts like calling a child naughty and looking at our relationship with our children or when we call parenting as a job. So these are all topic videos that I've done in the past. I'll leave them linked below, but there's a lot more than just that. So there's a whole playlist with 30 odd videos on the subject already. So if you're new, don't forget to check out that playlist. And today I wanna to talk about being kind to yourself as a mum or a dad. And I'm gonna share five tips and five things that I'm vowing to do myself to be kinder to myself as a mum. I, I don't know about you, but I tend to be really harsh with myself when it comes to my parenting and just generally how I feel that I should be doing as a mum. And I know I'm a lot kinder to other parents than I am to myself. Isn't it strange how we tend to show other parents a lot more kindness than we show ourselves? So I realized that I've been doing a lot more of that lately and it has, it has made me feel a little bit disappointed in myself that I've been putting myself down for things that are just not worth putting myself down for. So I've thought about five things that I can do to be kinder to myself and I thought I'd share those with you in case you're needing a little bit of self-kindness as well and this will be your little encouragement to do that. I'd also like for you guys to engage and comment below and tell me how you feel about yourself at the moment, how you feel your parenting. You know, some days we just feel like we get everything right, other days everything is wrong, and some days we're just in between. I think today I'm just edging towards the getting it right, but I think yesterday was a day when I felt like I didn't do a great job in a lot of things I did. So it's very common to feel like that. So let me know in the comments below how you're feeling right now as you're watching this video. If you're new around here, please do hit the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when there's a new Mindful Motherhood video for you on Mondays. I also post videos on Wednesdays and Fridays as well. So these are all usually at 7 p.m. depends on what the kids are doing, but I aim for 7 p.m. And give this video a like if you enjoy it so that I know to make more of these videos for you guys. And now let's get straight into the video. So I sat down and I wrote this list of five things that I want to do to be kinder to myself. And I am going to make a, a huge effort and a commitment to stick to these things. And the first thing that I'm going to do to be kinder to myself is to allow myself to move on. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that if I've had a tough parenting day or if I've done something that I'm not proud of, maybe I shouted at my kids, maybe I didn't play with them enough, maybe I cooked them uh, just like half-hearted dinner, maybe I didn't take them to like soft play when they were asking me to do it, whatever it is that I felt like I didn't do enough, I need to allow myself to move on from that and to stop going over and over in my mind and feeling like I've done something wrong every time I think about it. I like overanalyzing things and I like looking and thinking about what I've done. So I can't help that side of my personality, but what I can help is I can allow myself, once I've analyzed that, I get to move on. Allow yourself to move on, think about it, um, reflect upon it. Obviously it's important to reflect upon the things that we feel that we haven't done well enough so that we can improve and do better. But once you've reflected upon it, move on, forget about it. And the next, even like if it's from one moment to the next, it doesn't have to be at the end of the day, reflect upon it if it's not the sort of thing that you do, but from one moment to the next, reflect upon it, move on, and be the mum that you want to be in that next moment. Number two is to try again tomorrow. And that's closely linked to allowing yourself to move on because you can only try again the next day if you've put that thing past you. But that goes for lots of things. I feel like sometimes I um, feel like I'm not doing enough for the kids in terms of, oh, should they be doing ballet and jujitsu? Should they be doing like music clubs and all of these things? And I just get myself so worked up about it and worried that they're not doing all of that. And I end up not doing it for them the next day and then the next day and the next day. So 
there's always tomorrow. It's never too late to do the things that you want to do for your children. You can always try again tomorrow. Don't feel like you know, you're a bad parent because you haven't done it. Try again tomorrow. If you're willing to try, then you're already showing that you're a much better mum than you think you are. So that's another way of being kind to yourself is just allowing yourself that that time to do what you need to do or what you want to do for your children and not feeling constantly like you've not done enough for them. Um, one, one feeling that I have, which is not very kind to myself, is to think whenever I haven't done something this far, my, my eldest is going to be four in April, I tend to think, well, I've missed out on four years of that for him. And that then makes me feel so bad that I forget that I've got his entire life from now onwards to still do something for him. And it doesn't have to be wasted time. So yeah, that's another way that I vow to be kinder to myself. The third thing that I'm doing to be kinder to myself is to take a break to be me and not mum. And that is a big one. That's one I feel like most mums struggle to do it. I wonder how dads feel because I'm not a dad. So if you're a dad watching this video, let me know how you feel taking a break for yourself. But I know mums because I am one and I know lots of mum friends feel very guilty for taking a break and just being you. But that is something that you have to do and you have to do that for your own mental health, for your sanity and also missing your kids makes you feel a lot better being around them instead of feeling overwhelmed and constantly like you've got no time and no space and no nothing for yourself. It's important to remember that before you were a mum, you were a person, you were, you had your own interests and the things that you loved and all of that, it's still there. It's, it might be buried under all the nappies and all the dummies and the breastfeeding and the bottles and the school runs and all the commitments, but it's still there and if it's not there then maybe there's something new that you're interested in now but there is a part of you in there that's not just a mum so allow yourself to be you and take some time to do the thing that makes you happy and that will make such a difference in how you feel it's kind of an easy and a hard way to be kind with yourself it's easy because it's something that already exists so you don't have to make something up but it's hard in that you have to fight through that mum guilt and you do have to find the time to do it whatever the arrangements in your family are like if you have childcare, if you don't have childcare, if you're going to use your evening so yeah it kind of is a little bit easy and a little bit hard but it's something that I vow to do more this year. I'm going to the gym often and I do have to fight with the guilt of going to the gym when I go in the daytime because I feel like someone's looking after the kids for me or I'm wasting time that I could be with the kids to be at the gym. But I have to remember I'm a person too. I have things that I like and that I need to do. And I, I have to allow myself to enjoy those things as well. Number four is to realize that your children don't see you like you see yourself. They adore you no matter what. And I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to me as well. I need to say that to myself often. They don't see me like I do. They don't see my little flaws and the things that I think are a problem. They adore me. They see me when I walk into a room and their faces light up. They don't feel like you're a, a horrible mum because they had chicken nuggets for dinner three times a week. So it's something for me to be kind to myself and remind myself that my kids just, they adore me. They love me no matter what. I adore my mum. I love her no matter what. I, I've never thought my mum was anything less than a great mum. To me, it didn't matter if she did a cooked dinner every single night or if we had a takeaway every single night. So I think for my kids, it doesn't matter also. And I have to think about that constantly and remind myself of that. And the fifth way that I'm vowing to be kinder to myself might be very specific to me. I don't know if other mums feel like that, but I'm allowing myself to remember that I'm an adult with my own wants and my own needs. And I don't have to be a professional entertainer for my kids for them to love me. <laughs> It might be a weird one, but I have this thing in me where if I'm not playing with my children, I feel like I'm disappointing them or that they will not like me as much. Or if I say no to playing with them, I feel really bad and awful for, for doing that. But 
you know, kids are kids. They'll play every day, all day, if you let them. There's nothing more I love than playing with my children, but I also love not playing with my children sometimes. And I hope, and I've got to stop the hoping, but I've got to be certain that my kids will still love me the same way if I don't play with them all the time. So that's a bit of a quirky one, but some of you might relate to that in different things, you know, certain things that you do that you feel like that's the thing that makes you a good mum. So you need to allow yourself to just be you, be an adult that has wants and needs. So that is it. These are the five things that I'm vowing to do to be kinder to myself. I feel like this was a really cathartic video for me. I love these mindful motherhood videos for making me feel like I can do this, that I can be better, that I can, that I have the motivation to be ultimately like the ideal mum that I want to be in my head. And it, whenever I film this video, these videos, it just makes me feel really motivated. And then I post it and you guys see it and the comments below the, the videos, my Mindful Motherhood videos are just beautiful. It's just a lovely place for me and for everyone that's watching these videos because it's just a lovely sort of supportive community. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm rambling on too much today. I think I'm just, I'm just too much in my head, you know, like, and like not quite getting everything that's in there out. Um, but I hope you guys understood me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when there's a new video from me. And share this video with a friend if you feel like you have a friend who's not being too kind to themselves and they need to be kinder to themselves. So I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next week for another Mindful Motherhood video. Bye!